Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another week of Instagram stories. That's right, you already know the deal. You've already been watching like 40 some of these. And if this is your first one, well, you already know there's already 40 some of these. So if you like it, you'll have a bunch more to watch. Now, another thing about watching these, the best way to watch it, watch it on your phone, on your tablet, somewhere where it's uh, horizontal as opposed to, wait, damn it, I always get this wrong. Vertical, like pointing this way as opposed to this way so that way you don't get the bars on the side. But anyways, enough about the bars. What the fuck am I talking? Anyways, listen, guys, you already know the deal. Enjoy the show, and then I'll see you at the end of the show for an outro. Be with uh, me and my horse. Hurry, hurry! I wasn't. I'm not ready. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there you go. Okay, I'm, now I'm ready to be on the. I don't got time for this. Listen, guys, watch the Instagram stories, and uh, I'll see you guys when I get back. Right? See you so soon. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Happy Monday. Mm. Mm. Man, this coffee tastes so good. I can't wait to make my second cup. In fact, I haven't drank coffee in, I want to say, three days now because um, I actually went on a little bit of a coffee fast because I don't know if you guys know, but I drink a lot of coffee and I heard that it's actually really good to go a few days without drinking coffee so that way um, it gives your you know, brain, your, your body a chance to kind of like... Uh, you know reset itself so that way um you know i can take in more coffee no problem now again this is only for people like me and maybe you guys out there drink coffee every day all day non-stop so it sometimes it's really good to have, take a little bit of a of a break and i learned this like again on your joe rogan there was some guy talking about all this stuff on there and again coffee is actually good for you really coffee has a lot of stuff in there that's good for you and all that and all that stuff but just like everything else too much of a good thing is bad so it was really nice to take a little bit of a break this whole weekend i was on slow motion and it was a bit difficult um but i got through it and this morning i have my coffee and i'm like hell yeah happy as hell feeling like a million bucks and ready to kick ass Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me. you know staying away from things like that and all of a sudden you know before i knew it before, all of a sudden before i knew it dropping it like it's hot. I was dropping that weight like it's fucking, you know, like it was 1999. Like I was dropping that shit like the ball on Christmas Eve. Alright? And I was like, holy shit, you know what I mean? This is crazy. And, um, now, since it took me a while, it took me a while to to lose the weight and to do it, do it right. Well, you know, now what happened was that like, you know, I took my time losing that weight. I wasn't following no strict diet. I just knew what I had to do. And um, basically, 10 years later, look where I'm at. And uh, I don't have like a fucking, you know, uh, Mr. Universe body. You know what I mean? In fact, I got to start working on that. I got to start exercising. I got to start working on, you know, working out again. I got to start toning myself and looking better. But at the end of the day, you know, I don't have like that flab. I don't have all that extra loose fat and extra loose, you know, skin. Like a lot of people that drop a lot of weight fast. Why? Because I did it correctly. Also, I'm extremely fucking healthy. I'm 38 motherfucking years old and I'm crazy fucking healthy as far as I fucking know, you know what I mean? You know, knock on wood. But yeah, you know what I mean? I'm crazy fucking healthy. That's right. That's right, guys. I hope you guys are tuning in to today's Monday Motivation. I decided to do a little bit of a story time slash Monday Motivation because, you know, I was telling, you know, my story of uh, how I lost a lot of weight. It took a very long time, as you guys could see there. And um, I just wanted to share it with you guys and make it into a Monday Motivation. So far, so far at 10 o'clock in the morning, it's been getting a lot of awesome views, a lot of reception. A lot of people are loving the episode, and um, I'm going to be making more of these episodes uh, about story time, about my life. There's so many stories in my life, and um, there's no reason not to share it with you guys. You know, share a, you know an experience, share a good laugh, just share. So if you guys are, you know, got a few minutes and you guys want to check out the episode, go to my YouTube page, you know, and uh, check out the video, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Happy Monday. I never said these videos were easy to make, but hey, I love what I do, and that's the important thing. So that's why no matter what you choose to do with your life, as long as you're doing what you love, it's all fun and games. Trust me, it's fun. 
as I keep telling myself, no matter how, how difficult it gets. Actually, these Cuba videos are a little bit of a pain in the ass to make, but it, again, it's all worth it, you know, because by the time I'm finished and uh, they're all done and edited and all that good stuff, so, so worth it. All right, I got a text message to get to. All right, finally, got done. Took me a long ass time, took me all day to edit today's video, tomorrow's video, but it's finally done and I'm proud of it, so... Hey, I really hope you guys enjoy it. It's uh, going to be Tuesday's Cuba video. I've got a couple more left and, uh, you know, hope you enjoy those as well. So, all right, I'm going to see if I can finish uh, eating my tacos so I can get some rest, all right? Well, I'm going to finish this, then the tacos. You already know the deal. All right. Good night. Hey guys, not sure if you guys caught today's Cuba upload yet, but if you haven't, check out the link in the description of my uh, profile <clears throat> for while I fix my hair here. But you already know the deal. Go to my YouTube channel. You can watch all my videos that I post every single day. As you guys already know, I got a Cuba series, you know, up, you know, every Tuesday I upload a brand new video. I got a few more weeks left uh, of a few more videos left in the Cuba series. And then that's it. We're ending the year and then we're going to start next year with, I don't know what the hell we're going to be uploading. But all I got to say is that every single day there's a different upload. So check out my channel. You'll be surprised what you'll find. All right, time to get rolling on some videos. You got Lambo ready. You got the camera ready. You got me ready. You got me a list of, uh, oh, good thing you couldn't see that. But anyways, you got a list of a uh, bunch of topics I'm going to be talking about. I'm still undecided whether I'm going to film everything in here or if I'm going to go out and film a little bit with, uh, with this guy. I think I might film everything in here. We'll keep it. We'll see. I don't know. It might be a lot easier to film with the big camera regardless um i'm gonna do a lot of filming and a lot of editing today got a lot of work to do i got a lot of work this week and uh all throughout the end of the year and already kicking off uh next year there's just so much going on constantly in fact not only am i going to be filming and uh, all that good stuff but i also got the laundries to do that's right look at that so i gotta go hang all these bad boys over there Oh yeah, got that sun coming out. See if we can get these things dry. You guys already know, winter time is here, and uh, that sun and that heat is even here is even limited here. Well, unless you spend all day outside, but yeah, those are my whites, my tidy whities. That's right. So, anyways, um, yeah, just hoping uh, I can dry them out. In time that's why I do the laundry as early as I can to make sure I get the Sun before it uh, creates more shade than it does uh, actual heat to dry their clothes so all right well I'm back here I'm back in my office and uh, gotta get back to work yeah you hear that noise so plan B um, I'm not gonna be able to record many episodes on here in fact I gotta take it on the road loud I'm out here you know with my little camera hoping it recovers in time the heat was a little bit too much for it I recorded a little bit too much as always you know taking this shit to the extreme and uh, the poor little camera died uh, you know a little heat exhaustion so I'm giving it a little break so it can come back to life so I can continue doing my filming all right because you know I'm halfway through an episode and it's so annoying can't wait to get the new camera ready all right, well, just got home. This thing is, you know, kind of like in its deathbed. You know, it is what it is, but I'm gonna get, I gotta get all the info off of here so I can edit the video. So I've already recorded three videos. I might go for four, but before I do, I actually have to go outside so I can 
go get my laundry. That's right. Never stopped. A lot of things going on today. So there it is. There she there she is waiting for me. See, as you guys can see, the sun is already, you know, moving this way. And so the thing is, it's, it's pretty cool. It's not that bad, you know, the, the sun situation here. But as you guys can see, as it starts falling and hitting that wall, um, it starts dissipating. So, all right, here's a look at me looking at the sun. I can't see. All right, well, I got to get this going. Um, we got to put it away and then got to change shirts and then got to get back to work. So see you guys in a little bit. You know, the best thing about working with these headphones is that I can't hear what's going on behind me, no matter what. All right, so I got my heavy t-shirt on. I got my long john pants on. You already know what time it is. It's cold outside. Well, cold for many of the standards. It's actually, um, it's right now, I think it's like 74 degrees, and it's going to be dipping down to 61 degrees. So there's that. All right. And it might go even lower than that. So let's uh, see how that goes. Um, on another note, I've actually, I've actually, you know, was able to do um, a lot of work. I got all four videos filmed taken care of and now I'm um, editing and I was able to edit three of them so now I gotta do the thumbnails for four and edit one more all right man. Not, not bad all right check that's right so now I'm gonna start editing uh, the fourth video and get start working on those thumbnails and then you know I got me a uh, little prep work done you know I got me uh, some onions it smells like a fucking gym in here it smells like onions in here I got my beans for later and then you already know I'm just gonna uh, cook these onions down you know mix them up with some eggs and um, just basically have some scrambled eggs with some beans and some hot dogs so I'm gonna save some of those raw onions for the for the hot dogs you know to add to the top yeah buddy living large buddy you already know what's up Look at that, I got all the windows closed, all right, in the house, and yet that noise still penetrates. Um, I got a live stream, I have an interview tomorrow, and I don't know what the hell I'm going to do here. It's driving me crazy. I actually already reached out to the local, um, you know, city officials to see what the hell's going on over there. As far as I know, they're building a hotel over there, and it's going to be constantly making noise until they finish from what I gathered already. Now, I already had my, you know, I already had somebody else uh, reach out for me. I'm talking to my landlord and I'm trying to figure it out because again, you know, the, one of the things I keep, um, you know, hearing about Merida is the fact that, you know, most people out here, they just, you know, let things happen and they don't like stand up for their right. They don't really like, uh, you know, they just sit back and let things happen. So, you know, now me as an American, as a Cuban, I'm out here and I already know this shit ain't right. You know, this shit's wrong. And so they need to, you know, figure out what the fuck, you know, because again, they can't just do this. You know what I mean? You know, one thing is that building or constructing something and doing a little bit of uh, noise, uh, maybe some inconvenience for a few days. But once it's going to go on two weeks, three weeks, a month, months, you know, or even longer than that, well, there has to be some sort of rules, some regulation, some sort of compensation, some sort of something, anything. They can't just go willy-nilly doing that kind of stuff, you know? This is, a, this is to me, is a reminder why we, again, why we need laws. I hate fucking laws. I'm not a big law guy, but when something like this happens, I'm like, yeah, okay, I see why we need some sort of laws, some sort of whatever, because us humans, we just don't give a fuck. We don't, no matter what culture, where we are at. You see that? Man, get your head out of the way. It's dark. The whole day literally just disappeared like that. Been up since 6.30 in the morning. I can literally just remember waking up and um, waking up to the beautiful sounds of my neighbors, uh, you know, building a hotel over there. Um, and, uh, you know, subsequently going through the day, doing a live stream, a very successful live stream, uh, doing a bunch of videos editing the videos, uploading the videos, talking to clients, writing emails, responding, you know, to comments and emails and, and phone calls and all kinds of things. And uh, here it is. Here we are. It's uh, already like, what, 6 p.m., I think? I don't even know. And now I'm about to 
go take a shower because as you guys can see, I already turned off the computer for now. So I can go take a shower, you know, because I stank. And um, then come back downstairs and get back to work. There's a lot of things I have to do. In fact, tomorrow I have a, a meeting. Um, I have um, just a lot of things. I mean, it's pretty crazy. It's already Thursday and um, I'm actually ahead, but I also feel kind of behind because, well, guess what? It's December. We only have just a few more days left, a few more weeks. As a matter of fact, it's like less than three weeks left in the year, in the decade. And, um, you know, not only am I trying to get a million things done before the end of the year, but I'm also trying to get ahead so the beginning of next year starts off amazing. So it's just, you know, these last couple months, especially December, December is always jam-packed with stuff, not just because of the holidays and all this other crap, but it's always because I'd like to get ready for next year. And I don't know if you guys heard, but I'm going to be getting married in January, the end of January. So, you know, with that being said, I also got to get that ready. Um, you know, it's not just the holidays, not just my my channel, not just, you know, all my personal things, you know. Um, it's just so many things going on. But, hey, I wouldn't want it any other way. All right. I'm out here sitting, getting ready for my interview. Um, as you guys can see, I already got the questions going. I got everything a little, you know, moved around. I have everything closed off, as you guys can hear. The noise is still here. But hey, what am I going to do? Nothing. I mean, am I going to cry about it and be all mad and bitchy about it? Well, I already kind of did that. But um, no, actually, I have a solution. I'm just going to put on my headphones. I already did some preliminary sound checks and testing, and everything seems to be okay. So, you know, fuck it. What are we going to do? Now, it's going to be hard for me to conduct this interview for a lot of reasons, you know. Uh, but mainly... Um, even though I have my headphones on, it's the, the noise is so strong that I feel the movements in the ground. So it's like I still feel the vibrations, you know, of the banging of the, you know, the rock cutting or whatever the fuck it is they're doing. You know, it's funny because, you know, I don't want to get into all 9-11 out here, but, you know, um, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, look how long it takes to take that down, you know, so I don't want to get into more details. You can figure out the rest, but, you know. Jesus, you know what the fuck they got over there anyways. Um, so yeah, you know, it is what it is. Uh, nothing's perfect, you know, things happen, uh, but what are we going to do? Nothing. We're going to get just back to work. So speaking of which, I got to get back to work. So I'll talk to you guys later. Wish me luck. All right. The live stream was a success. Actually, it wasn't a live stream. It was just a... Uh, a regular stream I, I was just a recording that i did with him and i'm about to you know do a little editing right now uh so i can upload it later today so stay tuned to that in case you guys are wondering and curious but yeah you know it was actually what i did was i was interviewing john mcgaffey i don't know if you guys are familiar with who he is out there um but if you're not then uh you guys should google john mcgaffey i just interviewed him and uh by the way he was awesome he was actually pretty fucking awesome uh Literally, I was a lot more awesome than what I thought, and uh, the interview went real smooth and real, you know, nice. Uh, he was, for me, very easy to talk to, but I don't know. I guess it's because uh, we're both from, uh, you know, uh, the other side of the tracks, I guess, if you're, you know what I'm saying. But anyways, great guy, great interview. Stay tuned to later today uh, when I, you know, upload it, and I'll let you guys know. Christian just uh, texted me and was like, hey, can we go to the beach this weekend? And I'm like, the beach? It's fucking freezing outside. And then I just kind of stand next outside to the sun, and it's like, oh, wait a minute. It, I forgot where we live. It's hot. So, I mean, I don't know about swimming in the water. We'll figure that out when we get there. We're going to go in a few days. But, yeah, I think we're going to go to the beach. Uh, I told her, hey, how about we just have, like, a little bit of a picnic or something? And she's like, yeah! So, that's right. And I'm uh, most likely going to take the camera with me, so probably have a little bit of a picnic adventure at the beach. And uh, who knows? I might go in the water. And uh, I won't get high hypothermia. You guys, I mean, come on. You know, um, I've definitely dipped my toes in the Pacific Ocean. That's it. I've only dipped my toes in there. And yes, I got frostbite from dipping my toes in the Pacific Ocean. So this will be fine. Actually, I'm probably not going to go in the water. I think it's going to be way too cold. But hey, I will attempt it. So I'll see you guys at the beach in a few days. Oh, wait, I'm not filming a boomerang thingy? Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, see, right now I'm debating whether it's hot enough to finally take off my shirt again or not. See, look, you can already see. 
Uh oh. The pits of hell. <laughs> I made the executive decision. I'm starting to take my clothes off. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. Yeah, that's right. You can find me at the karaoke tonight and uh, tomorrow night. Uh, two shows every week. At a... All right, so we have another very long and productive day under our belts. Hell yeah. Now, today's episode, uh, the McGaffey interview, I'm going to be putting that live on YouTube at 9 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so 9 p.m. Eastern time is going to be the McGaffey interview. I'm doing a premiere, so I'm going to be watching it with you guys and hanging out in the chat room. And uh, and then after that, we're going to Twitch to do a live stream, a little post game after fun. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys there tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Central. Hope to see you guys there so we can have some fun, smoke, drink, and just enjoy our night. And uh, yeah, all right, so I'll see you there. All right, I definitely need to make myself a little bit more coffee because, again, like I said, got a long night ahead of me still. I'm going to pre be premiering tonight, and uh, we're going to have some fun afterwards, so I need some coffee. And then once the whole night's over, you know, once uh, you know we celebrate, we have a little bit of uh, libations, I've got enough for tonight. Um, then, yeah, you know, then I'll order me some tacos, pass the hell out, and uh, do it all over again tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow is Friday. I got um, Christian coming over, so we're going to go, you know, run a few errands. And then on Saturday, we're going to go to the beach and hang out there. So, you know, the fun never stops in Jose land. Hell yeah. All right, guys. Did you enjoy the show? I hope you did. Because if you're still here watching, I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't know why else would you still be here unless you enjoyed it. So, guys, you already know the deal. Thanks again for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being so awesome. It was an, another amazing week. We did a lot of amazing stuff, and uh, now we're at the end of the week. And now, guess what, guys? We're about to start another week tomorrow. And there's only a few more weeks left in the year. So, I hope you guys are ready to get this year off to the right start. 2020 is not only the beginning of a new year, it's the beginning of a brand new decade. And, uh, you know, we're all about kicking ass here. So you already know the deal. Uh, by the way, it's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and look what I'm doing. I'm making some coffee. Why? Because uh, look at this. Look at this coffee. It's only halfway. But why? Because I got a lot of things to do. And I know you're probably not watching it. It's already the end of the episode. But, hey, I love you guys anyway, and I know you guys love hanging out with me, and I love hanging out with you. And, uh... You know what? I need some coffee in my body. Love you guys. See you guys manana. And thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, me and Lambo are still here. Show's not over. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to please check out the online store where you can find all kinds of awesome merch. Also, check out joseatiaga.com where, you know, it's the website for me and all this other stuff. So also, you know, check out Discord. It's an online community in which everyone, all my fans, hang out. Again, just, you know, look at the, click at the link in the bottom description of every video here um, where you can just join the community and join and continue the conversation where we talk about, you know, all this and beyond. So please, don't forget to check us out there. Check me out on Instagram. Check me out on Twitter. Check me out everywhere. In fact, always look at the description of every video. You can find all kinds of stuff at the bottom of the description of every video. Again, I'm always giving you all kinds of goodness. So, you know, whether you're checking the description of the video or whether you're watching the next video, which you're going to see some here now, you're going to have all kinds of fun. So, again, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys when you...